All right. So, so I only have the 24 sets because I could not afford the 72 sets. <laughs> so you get what you can. You use what you got. And I haven't really had a chance to play with them because I got them like a week before my house caught fire. And then it was in storage. For all, most of my art supplies were in storage. And so now I'm getting having a chance to play around with stuff. So this was the first cam this was the second canvas bag I did. And then this one I was just doodling and um doing some like some Zentangle elements and just doodling and I did this uh bag. And um cat leave me alone. Shoot. So all the color, the large blocks of color is done with the intense blocks and everything else is done with the um, Sharpies. And my Sharpie color palette is not what it was before my daughters got a hold of them to, to um, decorate some of their clothes and tennis shoes. So I have to make do with the limited sharpie palette but it'll be okay so I really don't know what I'm gonna do today I'm trying to think out what I want to do so it'll just be whatever is gonna happen and after you put in the name of the show take off the private box or no one can see it I don't see a private box uh. Hmm. See, that box should always be present for a person to remove it. It shouldn't have to be just there when they are um, starting to bra, you know, setting it up. Cat, gone. Shoo, stop harassing me. So, yeah. So, here is my circle template. <laughs> A uh, Chinese um, food bowl from some foodie kids want it. Leave it alone, cat. Stop it. And it works pretty well. So there's my circle. And I have some smaller ones for doing smaller circles. So, she's being very needy today. She's not my cat, she's my daughter who wanted a cat, and then she um, moved out and she left the cat here for my son since the cat was attached to my son so she left the cat here and then I think I'll do another water scene she got a new cat who is being fixed today <laughs> and um, yeah all that love and with the cat who if she doesn't stop harassing me I hope you guys can see this and I just art for fun I'm not a professional artist I just art for fun so <laughs> This is my way of uh, amusing myself.
Bib, leave that alone. They don't, they don't belong to you. Okay. Get, get off the keyboard. Go play with your boy. No. I swear, we got to be the most worrisome cat that was ever put on this planet. All right. So do you want me to try to restart it and see if that box pops up um, for the uh, private thing?
All right, so I am a attempting to draw an uh, octopus, and then I'll start doing some more, uh, some more zentangly stuff. Okay, it's all right. I'm just looking at it. And that's my heater kicking on. If, uh, if it's, that's bothering y'all, just let me know and I'll turn it off. So how cold did it get down in, in Georgia, Dee Dee?
Oh, y'all got all the way up to 27 today. We got up to 20. I'm supposed to drop down to, I think, um, 17 overnight here, too. No, low of 13 tonight. Clear and low of 13. Tomorrow, the high is supposed to be 32. Can you believe they actually, um, they actually had a two-hour delay for the kids because it was so cold. I was like, I feel sorry for them if they'd have grown up when I grew up because your butt would have just been standing out there in the cold waiting for a bus. And our buses didn't have heat like their buses have heat. <laughs> no siree. For the octopus, I am loosely following a reference photo that I just Googled real quick just to get some landmarks um yeah no I'm not about to try and draw an octopus out of my memory that ain't gonna happen um, and I'm like I'm just playing around dang y'all y'all got 44 degrees shoot so yeah lucky people lucky people What kind of zoom tangles do you want to be? What kind of tangles do you want, octopus? Hmm? What do you want to be gray? What the hell's gray? Splots, splotches. I will really have another. There we go. Oh, that's not it. I'm from my other art box because I know I have some more black sharpies somewhere in this room. We'll have to see if we can use these. These are so I keep um cotton squares, you know, like those makeup removal things. I keep these. I use them for smudging, for um, cleaning my fingertip fingers off and stuff, and for cleaning off my um pens and pencils and stuff when I need to. And they work great. For like little small things. So let's see how this works. Let's see. Let's see if there's any. There we go. Oh, you gotta go outside. Ah. Uh. When I took when I took uh, Tater outside, I was like, "Oh my God!" And he's looking at me like, "What? What's wrong with you?" I'm like, "I'm sorry, but um, I'm not a Tibetan massive built for freezing temperatures in the freaking Himalayan mountains. I don't have hair growing between my webbing of my toes like you do to stay warm. I'm like you just go do your business, so I can put you back in the basement." <laughs> but I like I like doodling because you're doodling it doesn't have to be perfect um especially if you 
you could just you know a mistake isn't a mistake it's just a another part of the doodle <laughs> you can find a way to incorporate so-called doodle mistakes into your drawings and um and people can can be less critical and they can just enjoy the art for what it is you know instead of having any some people who are perfectionists poo pooing it and be like you know this is something i do for fun if you want a van gogh then i suggest you go to a museum and find one so i think I, that's one of the things i like about you you mix media ladies is that it's like um by Ross, it's a happy little tree was well, a happy little mistake. A happy mistake that sometimes you wish you knew what you did so you could replicate it. <laughs> so. I'm just outlining the um, suckers on his uh, just going around the green that I put down for his suckers. Tell Cam I haven't forgot his hat. I was working on it today. <laughs> Got it. I'm sorry if my hands were in the way, but um, as you can see, I do not have dainty little hands. My hands are huge. So I'll try to keep them out of the way as much as possible. So, that's good. All Uh, what color do you want to be out the place? We'll go ahead and get the blocks out. Start putting some color down. That'll give me a better idea of where I want to go with this. Which means I've got to take the gloves off. Say, lay a dollar bill so you can get a size reference. <laughs> I will, that would mean I would have to go and find my wallet and see if there's a dollar bill in there. Let me see if I have something that you can use for a size reference. Um, yeah, everybody probably has one of these. This is, uh, you know, the Altoid box. Everybody's had one of those at some point in time, pretty much. The full size Altoid box. So, for reference, that's my hand beside an Altoid box. <laughs> so, there you go, yeah. If I slap somebody, I literally could slap the taste out of their mouth. <laughs> so. Thing to do. 
Okay. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, color down, except for the octopus, because I'm I haven't decided what color I want him to be because because of the the way the octopus can can transform its skin and move its skin and the way that the metaphors are in their skin and um so he can either be a, a solid shade with a little darkening here and there or you know so he's just gonna be like that for for a few minutes while I get some other color down. You can put your color down dry, or you can go ahead and you can wet your canvas, and you can use the blocks wet. Um, I prefer to do it dry because you don't use as much product if you do it dry as when you do it wet. And you can control the product um, better, I found, that if you do start dry first. So you won't have it. You can always start light and go darker versus if you do this wet you're gonna get the darkness straight off of that particular um color and the ink tints once they dry that's it okay thank you Didi thank you for going by so I'm just going to go ahead and put down my blue waters. And I'm going to leave my circle for now because I'll probably be doing different colors in there with a big circle. And, um, but I want to go ahead and get this down. Because I can do smaller bubbles too in different places, like some bubbles inside with him. And I um, got to go over to Jerry's on the rum and see if I can get a 13 by 13 um, canvas or 14 by 14 to stretch these out with. Right now, I'm using some old um, cube, like you know, like the doors for the little cubes. Like if you made like a little cube bookcase, and you could put a door on it. I'm using the doors for those cubes um, right now to stretch this out, and it's not as tight as I would like it to be. Thank you, Didi. Bye. Okay. Okay. 
some darker blue. Here in the bottom waters, still waters run deep. <laughs> okay. So, I'm doing some, some freehand bubbles. Let me roll my sleeve up. Now for the fun part, um, wetting the canvas. So this is a uh, an old brush. This is a one inch um, brush that I actually had for doing trim work when we were painting in the house, and I had a couple that were left over. It's just my old, my daughter's old um, cup that she used to put water in for her watercolors and stuff, and when she left. She left the cup here, so I started using it since it was already jacked up. So once you wet the ink tents and activate them, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, just you can spread the color a little bit. You can see it moving, and once it's dry, that's it's not. You can't blend it. You can do a little bit of blending while it's wet. But once it's dry, that's set in. Uh, you can go over top of it with other colors. But yeah, so once this is dry, that's it. It is set in. Um, so you want to make sure that you get it all wet. Because you don't want somebody to have your beautiful bag and torrential downpour and... <laughs> And then they have a hot mess. So, but they they act a lot like watercolor, except for it's a stain. He say once a paint cup, always a paint cup. Yeah, but she picked a cup that used to be my son's, one of his favorite drinking cups. And um, he was younger at the time, and he didn't. He it took a while for him to understand that you can't use that cup anymore. And we bought these when we first moved to Virginia. Um, we had gotten a set of them. And uh, the kids learned from trial and error that they couldn't freeze drinks in them in the refrigerator because the cups were cracked. So this was like the, this is the only survivor. I think the last one we had like this, it was destroyed in the fire. So we still have this one because it was upstairs in the bathroom up here. Because um, her bedroom used to be upstairs in the attic. Oh, it's, this is, uh, it's not running that much. It's just a little bit, and this gets it right up. And it's, um, there's plastic on the canvas, so I'm, I'm trying to kind of push the water to areas that, um, haven't gotten their water yet. 
when it don't, doesn't have as much water. So you can kind of move it around a little bit. <laughs> But you see how much brighter the color is once you wet it with these. And I'm liking that green and blue. So I might do green and blue inside the octopus circle as well. Okay, so now that the canvas is wet, you can go in with more color now and just put um, different, uh, like on the bottom here, I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to come in with a little bit of, of um, this dark blue, this darker blue for the bottom section. And it's like I was saying, you'll be able to see exactly what I was talking about, about how intense this color is once it's wet. Um, if you use the block directly on a wet surface, you can see how intense this is. And you can also use your, your little pad to kind of dry that off before you put it back into your... Um, Older. And so I'm going to take, take my drying cloth and just um, get all that extra moisture off the brush because I don't want more moisture. I just want to kind of move this around just a little bit just to Try and smooth out some of the marks to get that, that darkness where I want it. I went over to the um, VEC. We went over there the other day and uh, <clears throat> it, Basically, they didn't do anything that I hadn't already been doing for myself on their on the unemployment commission website. <laughs> I was told my husband, so I sat here and I waited for two hours to see somebody, and all this person did was show me exactly the same things that I've been doing since I got my vision back at the end of. Around, around the end of um, mid-June is when I, my vision came back all the way and I was I was upset I was like you gotta be kidding me this person is probably making close to six figures to basically show me everything that I've been doing this entire time you know I was, I was not happy. I'm like, don't you have some type of criteria? Like, I can understand if I don't have a computer at home coming here to get help. I can understand if I'm a person who may not comprehend um, you know, certain things who may have learning disabilities and they need your help for that. I can understand that. But I don't understand when you have someone who, who don't have those issues and they come in and basically you show them nothing new. The only thing I learned new was that the Unemployment Commission, they have the ability to see um, some of the jobs that aren't available on their, on their website. So it is the only reason you would go in if you could do everything on your own is to see if any jobs come up that only they have access to so yeah so 
So I'm like, oh yeah, your tax dollars at work. <laughs> All right, so I like the way that looks right now. It's a lot brighter than what it's. It's not like it's about I would say five to five to eight shades brighter than than the way it's showing up. Well, it actually is showing up pretty bright over on my main screen. On my laptop, it's not showing up that bright as bright as it is. But this is um, you know. This is how I do my bags. And it's fun. It's relaxing. And you see how, like, when I move some of the green down here, it didn't blend with the blue. It basically just filled in some of the spots down here at the bottom, but it didn't, like, blend in with the blue to make a, a, a true blue-green. That's one of the other things I like about the ink tints is a lot of the pigment stays true. Stay true to yourself. <laughs> no, you this this gonna dry pretty much the color you see it as. Uh, I don't know if you can see. It's going to dry pretty much those colors that you put down. That's the intensity of it. Um, the intense. So, now I have to work on my spears. And now that I can't go to my markers anymore, so I have to use my, my blocks of color. So, I want to use um, purple, I think, the purple, the ones down here, let me try, hey, you're just having fun, so there ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? So, we'll do one of these small ones, we'll put some purple on the bottom, and then, um, Take my smaller brush. Huh. That's fun. That's a fun color. So yeah, that looks that looks okay. So I'm just going to carry some of it over here. Pick some more up from over here. Let's put some more over there. Purple looks okay. I like it. This won't press down as hard this time. Like the purple. So go right here. And, uh, That's something that I really got to work on is color. I've always been afraid of color, but I realize like if I'm doing like something like this or Zentangles that um I don't have to be afraid of color because I can just do what I want to do. Um but I've always been afraid to use my color color and pencils and stuff. I've pretty much stuck to um stuck with uh charcoal and um, 
castles. Like a water on this one. No, oh, it's beating through snow. You can lift up. Some of the color, a little bit. Like I had too much and it was like bleeding into the green too much. But um, if you wait too long, then you might as well just forget it. <laughs> you ain't, it's not going to come up. And now we have the white. And basically, we're just forming a tint because it's, you know. When you mix white with a color, you get a tint of that color. So that's what we're doing right now. It's kind of forming a tint. And um, tomorrow, after this dries overnight, tomorrow what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll only put just a little bit of water. I'll put just a little bit of water on the actual stick. And I'll brighten those whites up even more. Excuse me, allergies kicking in. So you use your credits, you said you use your, your cray your crayons. Um, you talking like your Conte or you talking like your um, pastels? Not pastels. What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, your um, oil pastels. Or are you just talking about like your um, Prisma colors and stuff? All right. So now it's time for me to play around with my octopi and um, I still don't know. I love those vampire octopus that they found in the deep, deep, deep ocean. So 
I really like them. So I think he might be a red octopus. <laughs> So, yeah, he might want to be a red octopus, be a vampire octopus. So I'm wearing his circle. And first I'm going to do his, the background, which I really like the way this turned out up here. So that was the light blue with the two shades of green. So, and I should have put it on before I wet it. Oh well, we just have to use a little bit less and spread it around. Spread the love. Spread the love. Okay. And the benefit of um, putting it up there when it's wet is it's easier to wick it out to other areas of the canvas. At least that's what I've found anyway. Put a little bit of this green up here for our boy or girl. This is yellow green. For our nuclear sub squid, he grows in the dark. <laughs> So we got that one down. Blue down here. Around the bottom of his bubble. Alright, this green. They are beautiful. What do you mean they're creepy? They are so freaking gorgeous. Love them. Those are they are very beautiful. Granted, I wouldn't want to meet one in person because you see they have those sharp uh, spur-like things in their um, suckers. Their suckers have like these gripper things in them, like a tooth or something. So when they catch stuff, it ain't getting away. And if it does, it's going to be ripped up a bit.
Yeah, your bubble's looking pretty good, dude. Huh. Okay. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you want me to keep working or you want me to pause myself a bit? Get me something to drink or something.
Hey, Dana. How are you? Thank you for coming by. <laughs> yeah, I had a fit trying to get this thing to work at first, but um, Dee Dee and Jamie saw me through, so here I am trying to use stream. So I was lonely, no one else was streaming. Yes, ma'am, I did. So what I'm doing is I'm playing around with um, Derma Inktense pencils, Sharpies, and um, decorating a canvas, painting on a canvas bag. So you need to see some tropical things. Yeah, it's kind of cold here too. The ink tents are supposed to be good for, um, because they're ink. They're supposed to be good for, um, they, Derwin actually did a demonstration on canvas bags. And I've washed a couple of them and haven't had any trouble so far. So, because they're a stain. Oh, no, they're not on top of uh, anything. This was just a plain canvas bag before I put the ink tents on them. And the um, Sharpies are all right as far as using those to do my outline and stuff. So I haven't had any problems with them so far.
So this is a grand experiment. I know there's um the frugal crafter on YouTube. She uses them a lot for doing her um when she's doing um her Christmas cards and stuff. She uses the Derwent Derwents a lot. because of the vibrancy of the the colors so what I'll do when I finish is I have um I'll take it and I'll put a little bit of water and um I have this big flat pan and I put a little bit of water in it, just enough to lay it flat on top of it, so it soaks down. And just um, to, to make sure that all the ink was activated, I'll take a big brush, bigger than this one, and I'll just take the brush and just smooth out any areas that looks like ink might be lifting up on them, because that just means there's a clump somewhere that I didn't um, get to. Um, this was easy, simple, fast, quick. Well, I don't know how long have I been recording. I didn't even tell me. An hour. This was an hour. It took an hour to do. It took me longer to get YouTube to work. <laughs> Not YouTube, but, uh, um, um, Ustream it took me longer than that to get Ustream to work because it didn't want to work on my laptop, but it would work on my um, my main computer. But it keeps saying that um, that my connection isn't enough and blah blah blah. But I have a cable internet modem and I game on it all the time, and I do YouTube Hangouts on it all the time. And I have a really nice video card, so I don't know what the hell Ustream is talking about. You know, it's like, you know, Ustream, do you know what you're talking about? Maybe it's their way of trying to, to trick people into buying their um, professional package or something. Hey guys, all my newcomers, and y'all know I'm horrible with names and I haven't learned everybody's real name, so I'm just going to call you by the name you go by on Ustream, and feel free to send me a message and say, hey, this is so-and-so, that way I can start <laughs> learning more people's real names.
feel free to ask me questions. I might not be able to answer. If that's the case, then a more experienced artist in the group will feel free to answer your questions. <laughs> So, I'm just adding some yellow because, you know, octopuses, their, their skin isn't one perfect shade. It's most often it's blended to kind of match their surroundings. And this little guy is excited, which is why he's yellow and red. And um, just want to make his to look more, a little bit more random. So, I'm kind of. Just blending it some so it doesn't look too uniform. I guess watching Discovery Channel all the time uh, has its uh, benefits, huh? Hi, Ranza. Suzanne. <laughs> so I have to start associating Suzanne, Z A with Z A and Ramsey is Suzanne. So Since I don't know anybody who lives in Alabama, I will not be answering that phone call. <laughs> That's one of the things I hate about your phone. When you get a number, it was somebody else's number. And uh, and people call you and they don't believe that you don't know who they are. and They think you're playing jokes on them and all this other junk it can become very frustrating. So I'm going to put my initials now on this thing somewhere. I'll put it on this bubble. And I will pick one that I don't want to write from. Let's try this again. Let's see if this one wants to work. There you go. That's better. I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, where's my where's the black? There we go. That's a dark blue. I'm gonna use a dark blue. Let's dip the tip in a little bit of water. And I have to remember it is the year of 2014. And that's a wrap. She's done. So who's streaming next? Thank you. You better be careful with that suitcase because I know there's probably a lot of people in this country right now that will gank you for it. <laughs> See, they're like, I saw this you stream, and this lady said she had a suitcase with gloves and hats in them. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you keep it hidden. <laughs> My husband hasn't made it home yet. Put all my little circles back in there, y'all. These, the ones with the retractable tips, they won't fit in my my little little baby white box anymore. Um, so they get to go into one of my pan cups, which I'll put them here. In this one. I only have two of them left. I had a whole set of them, but my daughter she she borrowed a bunch of them. Either she borrowed them or my son borrowed them or a combination of the two, but regardless, I no longer have a set of them anymore. So let me move this water out of the way. Um that's uh pretty much it for me for the night. I'll probably start crocheting again and somebody else streams. I'm working on um working on a cow for uh someone. I'm almost finished with it. It's this uh ugly peachy color. It was almost showing the right color. And um just gotta finish sewing it up. Well I'm crocheting it up. And it'll go around her neck, and then she can fold it over to double it like that. She'll be able to fold it over around her neck for added warmth. So it won't feel so holy. So. <laughs> All right, girls. Whoever's going to stream, make sure you post it on Twitter. I need somebody to keep me company. Yeah, APG, but I am not a baby color pink purple loving person. I like uh, natural colors and neutrals. That's me. So, the only reason I have yarn that's not that that is colorful is for my family. <laughs> All right, ladies, take care. <laughs>